Hello there, Egil Thorson here, storyteller, roadcaster and warrior. Those of you who've been lucky enough to go to Ireland will know what a beautiful place it is. The people are friendly, the food is excellent, as is the scenery. Folklore is amazing. And I'm going to tell you a story. By the way, get yourselves comfy, have something nice to eat or drink with you. This is yours. It's about a woman about eggs. Now, it was in the county of Wicklow, I believe. The old market was there. And the woman had a big basket full of eggs. Now then, I'll be winning either way now. If I sell my eggs, I get a lot of silver in my hand. If I don't, I have plenty of eggs there to I have a big stock for ready for the next time. And she seemed quite content. She went back home after a reasonably good day at the market and she saw a little lad sewing a brogue, or as we would call it, a shoe. And she thought, ah, that little boy, he looks a bit suspicious there now, doesn't he? And she crept up behind him, grabbed him. Ah, get off me, you humpty back devil. What do you want now? Ah, uh, you're coming with me, you nasty little boy. You're going to show me where it is gold. Ah, sure, what do I know about things like that? I know, because you're a leprechaun. Don't waste my time. And she pinched his ear. And she put the basket across her, and the little boy sat on there. Ah, now, you got me there, my dear. There is gold. I'll not fool you. There is a lot of gold. However, it's guarded. Ah, uh, and what'd it be guarded with? Frogs. What? Frogs. What? I'm not frightened of any old frog. Yeah, well, we'll see, shall we now? Some of them are pretty dangerous things. You want to be careful. Someone's just throw some brogues at me. I don't know. Anyway. The woman walked along and as she walked along the leprechaun was throwing her eggs out. You're a pretty resilient woman aren't you? You're the most resilient woman I have ever met in my life, said the leprechaun. Oh, that's a nice thing to say. I'm a nice kind bloke. And then she looked around because, don't throw me eggs and the eggs had gone. And when she looked around, so had the leprechaun. But he gave me such a compliment that it last me through the day till I get some more eggs. And that basically is the story of the lady and her eggs. I hope you enjoyed the story. If you have, press hashtag folktales and we'll get back to you. Leave us a comment. We're always happy to hear from you does take us a wee while to get back to you, but we will do eventually. Oh, before I go, this is what a brogue looks like. Yep, it's a sweaty old boot. That used to belong to a bobbin. Did it really? Yeah. Okay, well I'll put that down there and bid you good day. Bye now.